Hi everyone, this side Arohi from Pyfer Technologies, IT Park Mohali. So in our today's class, we will learn about face recognition. Before further discussion on face recognizer, let's talk a bit about face detection. So face detection means the system is able to understand that there is a human face present in image or video. And face recognition means confirming the identity of a person. It tells us whose face is it. But when we want to develop a face recognition system, then we have to use face detection also. Means, first of all, we'll find or detect a face in image. After detecting a face, our system tells us whose face is it. So there are various uh, face recognition algorithms. Some of them are eigenfaces and uh, Fisher faces algorithm is there. And then the algorithm is local binary pattern histogram. So this is also called LBPVH. So there are so many other algorithms also, but in our today's class, we'll perform face recognition using local binary pattern histogram. So let me show you uh, the data first of all. Let me show you the folder. So this is the folder. These are the files which we are using for performing this face recognition system and train underscore model dot py file and recognizer dot py file. These are the two important files uh, which we are using in a today's class. This train dot py file, train underscore model dot py file, this file will collect the data. For every user, we will collect 200 images. After collecting the images, then we will train our model on that data. So suppose if we have five users, means if we want to collect data for five different persons, that simply means for every user, we will be having 200 images and in total, 1000 images will be there because every person have uh, 200 images, right? So by this train underscore model dot py file, we first of all collect the data and then we'll train our model on it. And this recognizer dot py file, by running this file, we can finally recognize the faces. So over here, we have two folders. One folder is a dataset folder, other folder is a model folder. In dataset folder, we will be storing all the data. So over here, you can see alia 2 and then 1, alia.2.2. .2. So alia is a name. This 2 is the ID of this particular person. 1 means the first sample, 2 means the second sample, and 3 means the th third sample. So the First two parameters are same, alia and alia is a name and two is the ID. And then there are different, different samples with the different sample numbers. And how many samples we are going to have in this particular data set? 200 samples per person. So let's scroll down and see for 200 samples. So alia to 201. So we are having 200 samples, 200 images of alia, right? So this is how we will collect data for every person and data will get stored by name and then dot then the ID of that person and then the sample number. So this is the data set folder where we are going to store the data. And I've told you like I'm using this train underscore model file, we are collecting the data first of all. And after collecting data, we are storing it in data set folder. And then we are training our model on this data set and that trained model we are storing in model folder. This is the trained file now. Using this trained file, recognizer will, you know, recognize the faces. So where we are having this trained files, we are having trained files in model folder. And using that particular file, we will then finally use the recognizer to recognize the faces. So let's you know, uh, open command prompt and see. I'll show you the functionality first of all, then we will, you know, uh, see the coding part. So, I'm running python train underscore model dot p file. So, this file, I've told you, this file is responsible for collecting data and training the model. So, I have created a desktop application. So, over here, you need to enter an ID and over here, you need to enter name. And then when you click on this take images, so it will collect 200 images. And after that, it will stop the process. 
So let's see. I'm writing ID over here as pre and name. I'm giving Brad. And when I click on take images, then web camera will open and it will start recording, start collecting the faces. So now this button is also. So see, it is detecting a face and it is collecting. Uh, it will collect 200 different samples of it. So you can see over here, image saved, ID is three and name is Brad. So now this data will get stored in this data set folder. So let's see for ID three and name Brad. Okay. See, this is the data. So Brad name three is the ID. One is the first sample. Two is the second sample. So this is how we will be having 200 different images of this particular person. You can see over here, right? This is how we'll store the data. Now data gets stored. Now we want to train our model on this particular image. So we will click on train images and this button will remain red until the process is going on. Then uh, when this becomes green, that means process has been completed. Okay, let's see. This application stop responding. Let me see. So model trained. So we got a notification over here that model is trained. And once this model got trained, let's close it. And then in this trained pre-trained file, in this trained file, we'll be having that data. Now, the next thing is recognizer. Now we'll run the recognizer, Python recognizer.py when we we'll run this so remember the data which we have entered just now id is 3 and name is brad okay so let's run the program and see what output we get so if you'll see here so see So sometimes we are getting three and sometimes we are getting one. This is because maybe we are having some um, face which is uh, which resembles with this particular person. So what we can do, we can uh, you know add more images to make our algorithm more accurate. Right? See. So this is sometimes detecting three and sometimes detecting four. Maybe the person who is having ID one have similar face like this person. So the only way to improve our classifier is to uh, increase the number of photographs to train your algorithm. So this is the functionality. Now let me show you the coding part. So first of all, I'll, I'll be opening train underscore model dot py file. So if you have seen in this example, uh, we have two button take images and train images. When we clicked on take images, so it have collected 200 images, right? So let's see first of all this. So let me show you the code of those buttons. These are the two buttons. First button name is take images. Other button name is train images. And if you'll see after this take images button means in this take images button, Command equals to take images. Always remember other parameters are just to design the button. This command is very important because in command, we always write the function name, which function we want to perform when we click on this button. Means what we are saying over here is when somebody click on this take images button. So this function should work take underscore IMG function. So let's see what this function is. So this is the function take img function this function we are calling on that button click so this function is collecting the images so see the functionality of it so first of all we are opening a, a webcam and we are using over here hard cascade classifier so if you remember um, in the very beginning of our today's class only i have told you like whenever we want to recognize the images then first of all we need to you know uh, detect the face 
if uh, first of all we will detect the phase and after detecting the phase our recognizer will tell us whose phase it is so this is what we are doing over here we are using pre trained hard cascade classifier and in id variable i am getting the data which is storing in it and in name variable i am storing this data because using these two parameters we will be saving the data of a user right so sample num is zero right now this sample num i'm using for you know um, uh, sample we want to store 200 images of every person right so right now it is zero and uh, it will go up to 200 then we'll break the loop so right now it is zero at initial position while true simply means if camera is open if webcam is working then read every frame and that frame will get stored in img then we are converting that frame into a grayscale because har cascade classifier accepts grayscale images then we are detecting phase using this detect multi scale this detect multi scale function needs three parameter first parameter is the grayscale image on which we want to work second parameter is a scale factor and third parameter is a minimum neighbor once phase get detected where we want to know the um, their uh, means uh, um, we want to know the dimensions of it right so for that we want to draw a rectangles now so this is the code which will draw a rectangle on it and sample num which is zero at the, at the initial stage we are adding one at it so means this code will work until sample num will become this and after this break will get you know uh, br uh, we will break the loop and the image which we are storing cv2.im right see with the help of this cv2.im right we are storing a data where we are storing a data in dataset folder and in dataset folder we are storing a data with the name dot id dot sample number so this is the code we are doing over here this is the folder name dataset folder then name this name where we are storing the data of name dot then id then dot sample number and dot jpg name dot id dot sample number dot jpg this is how data gets stored and after that we are closing the operation this is the function of collecting the images then next function is train the images train images and over here what we are calling in command train img function now let's see where this train img function is so this is the train img function so we want to train our algorithm using local binary pattern histogram recognizer right so basically in training what we want to train we want to train our recognizer and which recognizer we are using we are using lbph recognizer and we are storing that recognizer in a recognizer variable and again we are using detector because as i've told you if you want to perform recognition you need to perform uh, detection also first of all so this is a detector and then we are collecting data from our data set and finally what we are doing over here is we are saving we are training our recognizer using dot train and then we are after training we are storing we are saving our recognizer in model folder which i have already shown you this is a model folder and over here we are show, uh, storing our train file so this is the file name which we are storing right so this is the function of training um, the uh, algorithm now we have learned how to collect data and how to train algorithm now let's check the functionality of recognizer so recognizer simply means you need to call the recognizer first of all you need to load the model which we have created and then you need to call the detector also because if you want to perform recognition detection part is important and this is just a font design which we see when we are recognizing a data so the id which we are uh, getting on the rectangle so i want to use this particular font so camera opening reading frames frames are getting stored in im then converting those frames into grayscale 
then detecting faces first of all and then using recognizer dot predict method we are uh, performing the recognizer task and then we are drawing rectangle and on those rectangle i want to put text means once rectangle get uh, we draw the rectangle on that rectangle we want to put that text like whose id is that so we want to put on i am str id if you remember this id variable so id is the um, id is containing the id of a person right so i am show will show that image so this is how this recognizer work and if you remember the final stage i'll show you the recognizer task once again so let's run the recognizer give me a second so see the id which we are getting on this box on above this box this id we are getting this id we are getting through this particular text right so this is the functionality this is how this recognizer work thank you